Hi everyone, this is Laura from all over the place and today is July 10th, I believe it's Monday and I'm recording for the first time <laughs> since my second day video because um, I, I got around to spin every day, at least uh, half an hour a day but some days were impossible for me to film because you know how it is, life happens and <laughs> you realize that you don't have the time um, of the day. So if you saw my second day video, um, I uh, started spinning um, to finalize a spinning project for a cardigan by Sarah Norland which was BFL uh, that I blended on my hackle um, and there were four bundles uh, left to spin so I divided them so two I spun in I uh, spun into a bobbin and transferred to this as you can see it is like this and I did the other ones as well so on my giant bobbins here you can see my singles so they're transferred um, not necessarily because uh, I had to but uh, I've done uh, I've tried in the past to apply from um, the bobbins I had spun the singles on and because they were all jumbled up sometimes they would break if there wasn't enough um, twist and I decided that it's not worth the hassle to try and uh, work the kinks out uh, so I transfer them I always transfer them because I like them when they are aligned and straight and so on because I don't have a woolly winder on my <laughs> um, machine so I have to move the the winder on the bobbin so I have to do this um, now the bonus uh, of this video is obviously not these singles that they still have to be plied but um, I decided to do also a challenge day and in one day I I googled a Turkish spindle uh, and I found a file to be 3D printed which I did but I decided to replace the uh, main shaft instead of plastic I used um, I saw that people used uh, some uh, uh, paintbrush uh, sticks and that's exactly what I did so basically what I did I printed this piece here and the counterpart that goes inside and I tried uh, drop spindle um, spinning for the first time since it was my first time I didn't want to use a precious uh, wool that I have uh, that I had around and this is something I bought and when it arrived in the mail I wasn't uh, pleased with it because it's a 23 micron merino but unlike the merino that I'm used to um, this one has a very uh, short staple as you can see it's like this here and it's kind of difficult to to spin for the first time on a drop spindle and I should have chosen um, fiber with a bit more length maybe BFL but I don't have BFL around anymore because <laughs> this was all the BFL I had left I have some more um, merino which was not gonna help and um, also in this uh, piece there are um, some off cuts as well and some of them are really really short and I kept dropping the spindle a couple of times until I realized um, I need to be more careful when drafting also if you've noticed uh, on a drop spindle I spin a bit uh, thicker than my singles are a bit thicker than um, the ones on uh, the spinning wheel um, mainly because I'm used with the um, drafting method uh, with the spinning wheel and this one is a bit more challenging especially because I have to put uh, more twist uh, into it so this is my... I have a hundred grams of this 
I don't know, at first I thought I didn't like it because purple is not really my color, but I shall see when once I apply it because um, I have, um, so this one is with this, is also part of my 100, uh, oh, part of a 50 gram uh, bundle and I still have 50 grams of this identical. So my goal was to split uh, in 25 grams because this uh, monkey here <laughs> is uh, 25 grams of uh, PEPG um, material printed. So once it gets uh, with the yarn in here, it becomes a bit um, heavy when you drop it because as you can see here, I have done this um, half hitch loop here and what I do obviously is I keep this one away, I twirl it and then continue drafting. Um, so it gets a bit heavy and I have to put even more twist uh, in order not to break the singles because this is, as I told you, it has a bit of a short staple. Um, I'm willing to go through this with um, uh, spinning it by drop spindle because, well, it's something to do while I watch a, a movie or something because apparently I can do that <laughs> when I spin on the wheel because it goes much faster, it's a bit impossible. Um, and then I'll take uh, this, once I finish uh, this uh, piece here, um, and I will ply it uh, with the turtle from, with the turtle from this one. Um, but I will be applying it on the machine because um, I don't think I'm ready to try <laughs> applying on a drop spindle. But for the my first uh, time spinning on a drop spindle, or a spindle anyway, um, I think I did pretty good because I already knew a bit of the mechanics. Um, if you've ever watched my first video, which is an introduction video, I told you that my great-grandmother used to spin wool um, with a supported spindle. It was um, one of those uh, Russian uh, spindles, because that's what was available to her. So, um, but I haven't tried it uh, when she was doing it. Um, and. I already knew how the singles were supposed to look and how uh, I was supposed to be drafting the fiber and so on because I've done it for almost a year now on my spinning wheel. Um, and since I usually am not the type that spins for the pleasure of spinning, I only spin for yarn and for color. And if I didn't have the wheel, uh, all of these uh, singles they're boring, so boring, because there's not much color in here, as you can see. Uh, they blended really well, but it's um, fairly muted, because as I told you, that was my goal, actually, to get a paler pink uh, for that cardigan. So, I guess this is what I will be doing uh, next, since today I just finished uh, these. Uh, spins. So tomorrow I will be applying them and hopefully by the third day after I I, uh, I, I will uh, continue to attempt finishing my other project. Other project which hopefully I can show it to you. Sorry, just a bit. So the other uh, thing is a combo spin. I had some pole work that's a bit um, felted and it is in these uh, fall colors. There were two braids. I believe they were like this. One was uh, with the orange. Sorry for the meowing of the cat, but Daisy <laughs> is upset that I don't talk to her as well. So this is actually the spin that you've been uh, seeing here. This is 100 gram of Polworth from this uh, combo spin. And 
As usual, if you know me, I never spin without a project in mind. I mean, I don't spin for the pleasure of spinning, I told you, I spin for the yarn and for the colors. And this um, is meant to be um, some... Uh, I'm gonna try um, a brioche, or at least a half brioche cardigan, uh, or pullover, who knows what, uh, what I want to do with it. But, as you can see, this is a bit felted. Let's show you on this one. It's a bit felted, and I, when I have to prepare a bit the fiber and pre-draft it each uh, bundle before I start uh, spinning. Other than that, it's uh, manageable, but I probably left it too much in the oven, and it got a bit felted. Anyway, this is uh, Polworth, so it's got a bit more uh, springiness to it and um, it still spins um, uh, wonderfully. So this uh, will be the project ongoing for the... oh no, tomorrow I will try to ply these. So starting on Wednesday uh, the 12th of July I will try to finish uh, the singles um, that I have in here which are a hundred grams, so it will match the other one and hopefully I will also do a two-ply um, yarn out of this. Um, as you have noticed uh, by now that I usually, I mainly do two-ply yarns because I don't like knitting um, heavy, chunkier garments. Um, but that's not to say that I don't have, I actually have a braid that is a uh, that I plan to spun a three ply fractal uh, for a yoke, um, for a color work uh, yoke. But that will be uh, hopefully if I still have uh, time to spin in this uh, month, otherwise, it will be off the tour de fleece. Um, in any case, I'm uh, ecstatic actually that I manage in this heat. Um, even now it's very hot here. I manage to spin every day a little bit uh, with my coffee and so on and on the weekend I did a bit uh, more um, because usually during the summer months unless it was this uh, challenge I wouldn't spin at all because it was that uh, scorching hot. I rarely knit. Sorry again for the meowing. Daisy <laughs> is arguing with me again. So, um, this is what I wanted to share with you. So, my two singles here, and my challenge, which is this um, drop uh, uh, spindle spinning. Um, I don't know if I like the yarn <laughs> in the end, because these are really not my colors. Um, but I, I, I wanted to try it a bit. It looks nice, but it's not really my color. Uh, I shall see. Maybe I'll gift it to my mother once it will be applied. Maybe she can make a hat or something out of it. So that was it for a recap of many more days. So this will be an accountant of um, started from starting from July 3rd until today, which is July 10th. It's Monday. Um, and hopefully I will get around to show you also the uh, applied yarn. So I will have four uh, skeins in total. Hopefully it will be enough for my project. And then to start um, working on singles of this uh, combo spin. Uh, which, as you can notice, they are rather some fall colors. Uh, I also dyed myself. Uh, these um, colors um, and I don't know I shall see what kind of um, sweater I make it's either a half brioche or uh, a two color brioche we shall see so thank you for watching and hope uh, to see you again on my next video if you still have the patience <laughs> to work f uh, to wait for me until I make another one um, because you know what, how life is, 
you make plans and then uh, um, something else uh, gets uh, prioritized. So thank you again for watching and happy spinning for this um, tour de fleece. Bye now.